Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. This is our weekly MLB betting show that we do with Doug Upstone. Today is Thursday, June 19th, and right now we're going to take a look at the three divisions in the American League. We're going to start with the AL East. Doug Upstone, thanks for being back with us. Hi, Peter. How you doing today? Just uh, excited to talk a little, uh, a little bit about the American League East. Just get things going here. This division has been uh, kind of rough and tumble, but uh, but hey, there's still some interesting opportunities to uh, to collect that. Yeah, definitely an interesting uh, division. Our forecast from last call, a little bit up and down. Uh, we thought that Toronto overs might be a good play. That was completely wrong. They were 8-17 and 17 over under since our last video, tied with Seattle for the strongest undertrender in all of baseball uh, for, uh, for unders. But uh, we also said fade Tampa Bay, and they went 9-17, and 17, minus 39.5% ROI overall. That was the worst in baseball since uh, our last video. So the no-brainer uh, recommendation to keep fading Tampa Tampa Bay was dead on. And uh, you also said fade Baltimore. They went 14 and 13 plus 3% ROI since last video. So that was a little off too. But uh, looking over the AL East, I'm thinking just maybe the best bet until further notice is just fade Tampa Bay. Yeah, it sure seems like it. You know, this team just is, is going nowhere. There's no answers, you know, that, that they really have. You know, what's interesting too, Peter, in, in terms of that, you know, that so far this season, they've actually only been an underdog 18 times yeah. despite the record. So the odds makers, in terms of the reputation, have just keep pounding them, you know, as favorites because they like David Price, they like Chris Archer, and so that just seems to be a trend that isn't going away. I think it will, you know, it will be changing finally, but uh, that's been a big part of the reason why it's, they've been so profitable to play against at the same time. All right, so we're going to fade Tampa Bay. What's your take on Toronto? Because Toronto. They're still a great team. They're actually uh, overall on the year plus 8.5% ROI, which is a very strong return. That's number three in all of baseball. Uh, but their offense has stalled. They got shut out three times at home recently, and they've been an undertrender since our last video. So what's your general take on Toronto right now? Yeah, I think that I think you know that when they went off on that uh, Usain Bolt burst, you know, when they went 19 and 4, their offense probably was a little was be they played better than what it really is, and now this seems to be just the you know things kind of uh, recalibrating for them. Uh, I don't think in either case, I don't think their offense was quite as good as as what it was. I don't think it's as bad as it has been mm -hmm. presently losing you know uh, I think eight of their last eleven games. So I, I think it's just a matter of them kind of getting their stroke back and getting things together. Uh, their pitching still is you know is halfway decent. There hasn't been any you know significant drop off there. I just think that the offense has to get back in gear, and it's just one of those things. It's a matter of what day it starts again, and then things return to normal for them. But yeah. until then, it's not easy to bet on uh, Tor bet on Toronto. Well, no, but uh, that's actually not true because since our last video, again, like I said, they've been a strong undertrender, 8-17 and 17 over under, but they were also uh, the third best team to bet on in all of baseball, plus 14.5% ROI since our last video. So despite all that undertrending, they were a great bet. Yeah, I'm thinking of more specifically the, in the recent games, mm -hmm. you know, what okay. they have failed. So, yes, so overall, since our last call, I, I do agree with you. You know, the record was better. It's just that the offense has really tanked recently, which has really hurt them. So, All like right, I said, so it's just a matter of just them kind of getting the guys back in the groove and see what they can do. So what do you think we'll see in the near future from Toronto? First of all, do you think their offense will start to improve and will start to even out in terms of totals? Yeah, and second yeah, of all, I, I, I think it will. I mean, you know, this is part of the problem when you have more of a power team mm -hmm. is that you're going to go through these situations. And obviously, they've, they've been in that situation, you know, uh, of late. I, you know, I'd love to say no when the exact point is it, they're going to take off. Uh, you know, at least coming up, they're going to have a home stand. Uh, I think they're at Kansas City, I believe, this week, or excuse me, they're mm -hmm. Cincinnati this weekend. Uh, that's a possibility playing in that ballpark. And then when they go back home, they got the Yankees, White Sox, and Milwaukee. And uh, cer certainly, you know, uh, against the White Sox, their pitching staff, there'll be some opportunity for that offense really to get going. But it's just, you know, there's no way to say, hey, you know, this is the magic time that's going to happen. You'll just have one of those games where something will occur, and then it kind of kickstarts the whole team. All right, but so maybe then going forward, we want to look to bet to continue to bet on Toronto because even despite the fact that their offense uh, stalled over this past month, they were still a great bet. Yeah. I, I, I cannot disagree with that. All right. Then the other three teams division, the Yankees, Baltimore, and Boston. Baltimore has been uh, decently profitable, plus 6.1% ROI on the year. That's sixth best in baseball. The Yankees, uh, you know, when Tanaka starts and when Tanaka doesn't start, they're almost like two different teams. They've actually been slightly profitable on the year and plus 14% ROI on the road. And then Boston, their offense just absolutely stalled. They've been a big undertrender and uh, minus 12% ROI on the year, 27th best in baseball, fourth worst. So you have anything you want to say about any of those teams? 
And look, the biggest thing to me is the Yankees, and in terms of their opportunity, uh, right now they're in a position, they're playing uh, 11 of uh, 14 games at home, so at Yankee Stadium. So the opportunity is there for them to succeed. Now, their home record is, you know, it's not that great at 15 and 16, uh, down minus 5.2 units. But again, they've won the last two days. Uh, so the, the opportunity is certainly there. And all, in all of those 14 games, they're playing against division opponents. Mm -hmm. So if they do really well and take advantage of this uh, period of time, they could vault to first place. So I, I look at them and say, boy, I think you do have to look at the Yankees as a potential play-on team, mm -hmm. you know, for this over this time span. Uh, yeah. Baltimore's numbers are just pretty generic, uh, just seemingly, you know, they, they win a few, they lose a few, no real trend seems to be either way, and Boston, uh, they're headed out on the road, which could spell doom for them. All right, so forecast for the AL East for the next few weeks. We'll start with Tampa Bay. Add them again, fade Tampa Bay for the next few weeks? Uh, down on Tampa Bay. <laughs> okay, all right, that's forecast number one, and then any forecast for Toronto? No, I, I don't have a forecast on Toronto. I, I'd say I'd have a lean on the Yankees. And I would look to probably continue to play against Boston on the road. Hmm. All right, so we have to we have to make these uh, these forecasts official. First of all, uh, fade Tampa Bay. Second one, right. uh, bet against Boston on the road. And then third one, is that it? I would say take a look at the Yankees at home. Check out the pitching matchups. All right, so that sounds like uh, we're not going to make a forecast today. Just two for the Aliens for the next few weeks. All right, that's good, Doug Upstone. Thanks so much, Dallas. Move on to the AL Central.